So, um, about 10 years ago, uh, my dad passed away, and uh, I went down to Miami with uh, my brothers. Uh, there's three other brothers. My dad was married twice, and so we all uh, got together, and we had to uh, go through my dad's house. Uh, now, my dad is like a packer, so uh, this was, you know, this was quite a, an adventure. Uh, and there were, um, my dad had things still in bags. Like my dad, like box clothes he never put on. He just like hot and put them in the closet. So we went through uh, my dad's things and, uh, and I found this like jacket. Uh, and it was like this beige leather jacket. It was a Tommy Hilfiger jacket. I remember Tommy Hilfiger. So my dad uh, was 64. So my dad had a Tommy Hilfiger leather jacket that a 64 year old man would wear. And so I grabbed it, I said, you know, I'd like to, re to remember something when I go back to Maryland from my dad, so um, I'm going to take this jacket, and I'm going to wear So, um, you know, I would like to, so I put the jacket on, you know, and I would go out. You know, so here I was, I was wearing this, like, leather Tom Hilfiger jacket that a 64-year-old man And I'm walking out, and I would feel great in it. You know, I feel great in it because it's my dad's jacket, and, you know, my wife kind of be very disapprovingly and say, you know, we're in a 64-year-old man's jacket. It, it looks kind of weird. And I'd say, oh, no, 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 you know, no. It's, it's my dad's jacket, I gotta wear it. So, time went on, and I finally got the point that I probably should be wearing this out. Uh, but I couldn't part with it. I couldn't part with it. So I put it in my closet. And so I would kind of just, uh, every year would go by, I'd look in the closet, there'd be my dad's jacket. And so I would remember, oh, it's my dad, remember him. And uh, some years went by, and so uh, we started doing clean, kind of like spring clean. And, uh, you know, I would keep looking at that jacket, my wife would look at that jacket, and I just I couldn't part with it. I was like, it's my dad's jacket, I cannot part with my dad's jacket. And um, for one year, you know, they had a coat drive at my, at my son's school. Uh, they have a coat drive for families who did not have coats. And uh, open the closet and, and I can open my dad's jacket. <sighs> and so I was thinking, I was like, oh, You know, and, uh, and I started thinking about my dad. And so my dad was somebody who would literally kind of give you the shirt off his back. That's the kind of guy he was. And he always wanted to make sure that uh, everybody else was okay. So, uh, in the last year, I gave my dad's to, to the coat drive. And, uh, you know, as hard as it was, uh, I thought about my dad. He said, you know, he was alive today. Uh, he wants somebody else to have a coat. Uh, so I, I gave it to the Rolling Terrace for the drive, and uh, you know, I'm sure there is some 35-year-old guy walking around with a 64-year-old man's coat. <laughs> 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 Thank you.